For this video, I want to take you on a tour of the Magnetic Hill Zoo, located in Mockton, New Brunswick. Well, it looks like I'm back in Canada again. Before I get started, I hope you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button above so you can ring the bell. When I was crossing over the border into Canada, uh, you know, the Border Patrol agent asked me where I was headed, and I said, well, my first stop was Moncton. And she said, that doesn't make any sense. Nobody goes to Moncton on vacation. It's been my experience that a lot of Canadians seem to throw a lot of shade at New Brunswick. I don't understand why. It's a beautiful province. Um, I, I realize it's more rural than a lot of the other uh, provinces, but part of the reason why I was vacationing in Maine is because it's one of those unspoiled uh, states where there's not a lot of development. It's 89% of that state is still in its natural form, unspoiled by people. I mean, that kind of stuff appeals to me. What I like about Magnetic Hill is it is a tourist area, despite what the Border Patrol agent was telling me. Uh, they've got multiple go-kart tracks, arcades, there's a shopping district, they've got the Magic Mountain Amusement Park, and today I'm visiting the zoo that's located there. So this particular zoo is 40 acres, it features over 400 animals, and is the largest zoo in all of Atlantic Canada. What I think is kind of funny about this particular zoo is if you look at their website or any of the marking materials that are associated with this place, they uh, market themselves as the fourth best zoo in all of Canada. That's based on a list that uh, was compiled back in 2008. Down in America, they'd never market anything as number four, anything. It's always, we're the number two or number one place. So it is kind of funny to me that someone would brag about a fourth place finish. I mean, in America, we would see that as not winning anything, not even a bronze finish. So this particular facility opened up back in 1953 and was originally called the Magnetic Hill Game Farm. Their original mission was to rescue injured and orphaned indigenous species like owls, bears, and deer. In 1979, the city of Mockton took over the park and began acquiring more exotic species. And that's right around the time that this place was renamed to the Magnetic Hill Zoo. This uh, particular zoo has had several expansions over the years. The largest one taking place in 1995 when they expanded the African Oasis section. The admission price of this particular zoo actually fluctuates uh, based on what season you go. If you go in the off-season like March, an adult admission is only about $6. However, if you go in the middle of the summer season when it's prime time for them, uh, that same admission will cost you $16. I gotta tell you, when I was walking in the gate, my first impressions of this zoo were really high. This zoo is very picturesque, with a lot of great landscaping. The pathways are nice and wide, and uh, really well maintained. The food options are average. I mean, there's some decent places to eat inside the park but it's still cheaper if you eat outside the park. But that's pretty typical with most zoos and theme parks. They had some really amazing exotic animals here. I've been to a lot of zoos over the years producing videos for this channel, but I've never seen a silky chicken before. I had no idea something like that existed until I went to this particular zoo. I will give you this one heads up though. They have this insect house near the education center, and the rest of my family was kind of grossed out by it, so you might want to skip that if you have people who are a little squeamish for all the big bugs. You know you have those family members that uh, have to turn their head when they're watching Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So my bottom line for this particular zoo is I highly recommend it. The whole day was just one positive experience after another. This is probably one of my favorite zoos in the entire world, despite it being only 40 acres. As a kid, I grew up going to Metro Zoo down in Miami, and that's also one of the best zoos in the world, so I'm not one of the easiest people to impress, but the Magnetic Hill Zoo definitely impressed me.
Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Shmup. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.